great thing about being a magician is that eventually you get to where even money will listen to you. I'll show you what I mean. Here, stand up. Roll over. Stand up. Roll over. There you go. Stand, roll over. Okay, now fold all the way for me. All the way. There you go. Works every single time. Make sure it's what it seems to be. <laughs> I'll tell you a secret. One of the reasons magic works is that observation is really difficult. Okay. So, now you already told me you had 36 cents, which I thought was far out. You uh, it? No, I want more. <laughs> Could you loan him a bill? Oh, yeah, sure. I'm glad you're here. I really am. Yeah. I'm glad he's here, too. A 20, that old 20 again. <laughs> Well, you didn't get, oh, okay, hold it a little longer, sure. That's enough. Now, who did he it to? See, now here's the deal. If anything happens to this bill, you owe him $20, and I have no responsibility. Well, you didn't think it was going to be like that, did you? Now, uh, since you've been generous enough to, to enter an entire $20 bill into our little game, there is no reason that I personally shouldn't throw in a dollar. Why can't he use a dollar? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I have the dollar. In fact, you have the dollar. I'll take the 20. Now, hold the price. Now, if you notice that bill, you can fold it and fold it, yes. And fold it up so that there's a, there's a number on uh, this side and there's a number on that side. So that you have two numbers visible. Yeah. Yes. Perfecto. I don't want you to know which is which. <laughs> okay, hold your hand, palm upward. This one here. No, this one here. Better take that one away. Cover the bill. Uh, no, not that tight. No, no, just relax, relax. Relax, relax, relax. Without looking, how much money totally do you think you have in your hand now? $21. Well, that's what I would have said. <laughs> now, that yeah. means you've made a dollar. Yeah, a dollar. I'm keeping yours. And I'm giving his back. Okay, now, now open, open your thumb. Relax your finger. Just relax. I'm going to sneak in here and take one of the bills. Okay, if I took the single, uh -huh. what does that leave you? 20. And that's the game. Right. No, my friend, I have the 20. Wow. Open your hand and show us what you have. <laughs> oh, that's some shit. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and you don't have anything. <laughs> I want to show you a wonderful trick uh, that's been around since uh, the turn of the century, invented by a magician named Max Mullaney. Um, I'll just use uh, four of these. Four sugar. Would you take one? Would you take one? Yes. Uh, David, would you take one? Tanya, would you take one? Would you guys unwrap those? While you're doing that, I'm going to tell you a little story, all right? It's about a Polish guy who gets a job in a Polish neighborhood as a bartender. And he's on the job one hour, see? And his boss is scrutinizing his work, and he says, You're a very good bartender, he says. It was making me very happy because you have to run the bar yourself today. And the guy said, Oh, really? He says, Yeah. He said, There's nothing to worry about except, I tell you what, we have um, a, a group that comes in. I have to leave this afternoon to put the receipts in. We have a group of, of hearing impaired people who get, unwrap your cubes. Uh, hearing and impaired people who come in and because they can't talk, we use it sign language. So if they do this, they want a beer, and if they do that, they want a shot. He said, let me get this straight. This is a beer, this is a shot. He says, yes. He says, I can handle that. 
well, 2.30, in for 75 of these hearing impaired people, and they're giving them this and this and this and this. That's a, bo uh, well, that's a boiler maker, you know, uh, <laughs> in a Polish neighbor. And the guy's doing great. He's pouring the beers, pouring the shots. All of a sudden, the guy walks up and does this. The bartender says, wait a minute, this is a beer, this is a shot. He ignores the guy, goes back to pouring the beers and the shots. A few minutes go by, and the guy does it again. For a joke, the bartender does it back. But when the bartender does it back, all of a sudden, one over here starts. And one over here, in 10 minutes, the whole place is doing this. <laughs> in walks his boss. He takes one look around. And he says, now that you got them singing, we'll never get them out. <laughs> <laughs> May I have the, uh, the sugar cube? Broke. Yours broke. That's why we have more, David. Okay. I don't have to tell another joke, do I, for God's sake? No, please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> David, you've messed, you've messed the, the entire <laughs> table up. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Very good. Now this is called chink a chink, and uh, that's the only words Max ever used. Now you can cover any of these, but I'm going to cover these. Watch chink a chink. One jumps. <laughs> I'll do it again. You can actually see it happen. Watch. Here's one more. Watch like that. This is the hard way. It's called the bank shot. What? One, two, three, four. Like the sugar. Oh.